Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video, and today we're just going to chill out, and I'm going to be playing my favorite expanded deck. It is still my favorite expanded deck. This is going to be Galissapod Seismitoad. This is a deck that I love to play in expanded. I think I've played this deck the most in expanded. Um, I do have a lot of other expanded decks that I like to play, but this is by far the one that I play the most. It's my go-to expanded deck, if you want to call it that. It's the one that I feel like I have the best luck with, and we are going to try it out today on PC Joe. It is a bit more of a competitive deck, um, but I do still want to try this deck out regardless, because I do like it so much. Um, so we'll take a look at the deck, kind of run through it real quick. I've made a video on this before, but we are going to check it out again. So obviously your main attacker is going to be Galissapod. Galissapod's first impression is one of the strongest attacks in the game. One energy, you can do 120 if... Glissapod was on your bench, became your active Pokemon. You also have Armor Press, which is also very strong. You can do 100 damage, you have Crossing Cut. So overall, Glissapod is very good. 210 HP, Grass-type attacker. Grass being good, you play against Greninja, you know? You give them a run for their money. So Glissapod GX is a very strong card. And what makes it so good is you can chain first impressions with Ace Rolla, which is amazing because you get to heal your Glissapod. You can also chain it with Guzma. So you have a lot of chain cards with Glisspod, and this is why I like Glisspod so much, and in Expanded, thanks to Expanded, we have so many cards in this format we can work with. We have Hypnotoxic Laser, Burbank, letting us hit perfect numbers, um, which is also kind of nice. We have Versus Seeker, which allows us to get back stuff like Ace Rollas and Guzmas when we need them. Instead of having to like rely on Lele for them or hitting them, we can just straight up get them because we have via Seeker. So this is why expanding Glisspod has so much more potential. But because Glisspod is weak to, you know, Fire Ray, you know, it's weak to Fire, Volcano, and Turtonator, we have Seismitoad DX in here. This not only helps us against so many matchups where items are such a big key, like Battle Compressors and stuff like that. Quaking Punch will slow your opponent down, and it's amazing. Also, because Seismitoad is a water type, you get to hit Volcanians and Turtonators and all those fire types that will hit spot for weakness except ho -Oh. you can just hit him for weakness quaking punch and it will help the matchup a little bit more it's not going to give you the auto win obviously but because we have toad laser lele burbank there's a lot of ways we can deal with those bad matchups for ghost spot and this is one of the nice things about this list and why i like it so much um we got three leles you know lele great card i'm playing three of them because you know, I want to just max out Lele's, to be honest. You know, I don't think we need four. Three is good, but we want turn one Lele's for Bridget. We also want a Lele for Ace Rolla and Guzmas at some points in the game, too. That's why they are important. We do play one Tapu Koko for Flying Flip, but we also have it for that free retreat. In case we need to Guzma or Ace Rolla into something, it may as well be Tapu Koko since it has a free retreat cost. We do play one Sudo Widow. Zoark is the best deck in the expanded format, so we have to play Sudo Widow to counter that. I mean, Alolan Muck is popular in Zoark, but Sudowoodo will hopefully help balance it out just a little bit. Um, and that's it. And we got our four Wimpods and three Galissapod GXs. Um, so I guess if you want to run anything else, the best thing you can also play is Oracorio for, you know, Night March. Um, but we do play Karen, and I think Karen's better than Oracorio in this deck. So you can go with what you want, Karen or Oracorio. We're going to play Karen today. Um, and yeah, that's all our Pokemon. We got 13 Pokemon. Not a whole lot, but it's fine. We got a lot of items to go into, though. We do play one computer search. It allows us to be able to get any card we need. I honestly like scoop up Cyclone a lot in this deck too, but I like computer search a lot more because giving you access to grab like an Ace Rolla or a Guzma or an Energy or something off of a computer search I think is a lot more valuable than like a scoop up Cyclone. We do play two E-Hammers. This is something that I've recently kind of added. It's been working out pretty well for me. A lot of decks in Expanded will use Special Energy, obviously, so Enhanced Hammer is going to have to come and clutch for us and get rid of some Special Energies. Uh, we do play one copy of Heavy Ball, since we can grab Wimpod, Galissapod, and Seismitoad with it, and it's a great search option. We do play three lasers, and again, three lasers, two Verbanks. Goes with the trend of hitting perfect numbers, you know, 150 with a choice band, and then the laser Verbank does 180 with first impression. Crossing cut with a choice band, Verbank laser, one-shot stuff like Zoark GXs, so this is why the numbers are so good with these cards. I'm playing one Super Rod, gets you back Pokemon Energy, because we have Karen. We do play four Ultra Balls to search for our Pokemon. Four VS Seekers, four supporters like Ace Rollas and Guzmas. We do play three Ace Rollas, three Guzmas. Again, these are just to support your Galissapod. We do play Bridget to be able to turn one Bridget, get a few Wimpods set up. One Colrus for draw support, one Cynthia for draw support, one N for draw support. 
and four sycamores for draw support. And the other supporters, Hex Maniac. This is just really good. Obviously, abilities are such a key portion of the game. We need to play Hex Maniac in order to hurt the opponent and give us the advantage. And we do play one Karen. Again, this is to counter Night March. Um, or Corio I like, but I feel like Karen's just better. Ghost Body actually tank pretty well against Night March because of Armor Press. And because if they don't one-shot you, you're going to be constantly kind of healing. So that's why I feel like Night March is not a terrible matchup. And that's why I actually don't play Oracorio and I play Karen instead. Because when you can Karen them and they, you force them to have to re-discard all the Night Marchers, you know, they're not going to one-shot you and then you can keep doing Ace Rollers and stuff like that to force your opponent not to knock them out. That's kind of the logic behind Night March. Um, we do play three Choice Bands, so we can do, obviously, the extra damage. One Float Stone, still important to have when you need to Guzma or Ace Roll into something. Four DCEs, because everything needs DCE, and five basic grass energies. And this is my expanded Glow Spot Size Mateau deck. Again, it is my favorite deck in the expanded format. Now, I'm actually going to see if we can enter a tournament with this. I don't really feel like doing versus... Okay, nice. Eight tickets. All right. Well, we're going to do an expanded tournament with Glow Spot Size Mateau, I guess, today, guys, because I feel like doing a tournament. I haven't done a tournament in a while. I got so many tickets just doing nothing. So we're going to do a tournament. I could jump into the verse ladder, depending on if these games go by really quick. Honestly, it may not even be a competitive tournament. Hopefully it isn't, because it's free packs, basically. For the sake of me, I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. But if we get some nice games, and we do, and if we don't, you know, we'll definitely get a game or two in the versus ladder. So uh, that'll be the plan. So it'll be Gucci. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how this goes. i got to wait a minute for some players to join. Going to get a nice snack while we wait. Obviously, it's just a lollipop. Nothing crazy. Uh, but we will check out um, the rewards. Yeah, random packs. That's fine. We get six packs and 400 tokens. The tokens are nice. I'm not going to be spending any more tokens. I usually would just buy an Ultra Prism pack. But I'm actually going to be saving the tokens for the next set, Forbidden Light. I usually wait a month, save up. And I'm probably just going to get a bunch of codes, too. So Forbidden Light shouldn't be too bad for me. Here we go. The tournament has begun. And we are up against... I want to say it's Zork. Which I think it is. I don't actually know what it is. Because he's got so many types. We are going to lose to Coin Flip. Which sucks. You want to go first when you're playing Glow Spot. Because you get that early aggression. We open with Soda Woda. We do have Float. Okay, that's actually a pretty good hand. We can definitely do a lot with Bridget. Alright. So let's see what we start with he could get end obviously but i do like this hand i guess starting with soda widow is fine if he is playing zork he could be okay starting with jirachi that's actually fine jirachis and shamans are great cards to see him play when you're playing glispod he's gonna laser me okay what is he playing verbank okay well thank you because i am playing verbank laser also i think he's playing a sylveon deck spritzy what in the world Hmm. Very, okay, I'm kind of confused. What kind of a deck is this? Again, I wasn't, you know, not surprised, you know, we're playing against weirder decks, but, you know, whatever. We'll see if sort of what it goes down next turn. We may need it. Seismito would be great if we had an energy. Um, so we'll just do this, I guess. Bridget, please be prized. Did I just say Bridget, please be prized? No, I said Bridget be in the deck. Luckily, Soda Widow's HP lets it live through um, going back into my turn with the Verbank in play. But, you know, he's putting Verbank in play. I play Verbank, so uh, thank you. So do Bridget, two Wimpods, and a Coco. Do I attach Grass? I think I will. Just just in case we can do Armor Press next turn. Kind of want to put Toe down, and I think I will. No, we might need it for Lele. Yeah, we could draw Lele. Maybe we can do something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll say Toe. We don't need to put it down right away. Even if we don't even need it. Toad's really only here for certain situations, and it doesn't look like we're in one of those situations. Alright, but let's see what my opponent will do next. I still don't know what they're playing. They're playing some kind of fairy box deck, clearly. But, other, okay, he's just going to pass. Okay. Cool. I think I will put Toad down at this point, just so I can increase the odds of drawing Ghost Spot. There it is. I could armor press him. Which I think I'm going to do. Boom. 
And if he doesn't have anything, we should be good for next turn. I kind of wish, hopefully we can get a Via Seeker off these two prizes or an Ace Rolla. So if he does laser me and gets heads, I can get out of that. It's kind of the idea there. But we should be good at this point to, you know, just steamroll him. I don't know what he's playing though. We'll see if he gets another Pokemon down. And Tapu Koko of all cards. Okay. And he's going to pass. He ha oh, there's a Guzma. I can just cross and cut him, which I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to attach this just in case we get into two, and I don't need to draw that. Boom. Crossing cut. Go into Coco. Knock out this Tapu Koko GX. Going into a normal Tapu Koko, because that is how we do things on PDCGO. We'll take our prizes. Fear Search is perfect, because now we can, you know, do whatever we want. If he does somehow get heads on laser and buys a turn, we can just computer search and get out of it. So, this game looks like it will be wrapping up here very shortly. If he doesn't get another Pokemon down, we have game, unless he lasers me and gets heads. Nope, that is game. Okay. That is indeed game. Hopefully my game doesn't glitch out and doesn't apply first impression. I swear that's happened to me before. We're good. Again, no clue what he was really playing. Um, I, I want to look at his deck. Will it let us? Okay, he was playing a fairy box deck. I, I kind of figured he was playing some kind of aromatized fairy box deck. Just because of all the... Because he dropped a Coco. I'm like, what in the world? Um, I think this needs to be updated, though. Definitely needs to be updated with better attackers, I think. You know, he probably needs some kind of fighting type. Yveltal can probably go. You probably don't need that anymore. Well, no, I mean, if you play against Trev, I don't know. If I were to change this, though, I'd probably take out the Aveltal. I probably would add maybe a Water type, too. I mean, probably just a newer player, so he probably couldn't afford that much. So I can't really, you know, call him out on that. We'll see you guys in a moment, though, for the next part of the tournament. All right, guys, the next round is about to start. Here we go. We're playing against another Grass deck. We'll see what we are up against. Could be a Ghost Spot deck also. But don't see any Psychic or any uh, Lightning, so I doubt it. But we'll see. I kind of feel like he's not even playing a competitive deck, just because that deck box he did, I think, starting the game. Is he playing like a modified theme deck? I don't know. We do have a decent starting hand, though, which is nice. Always good to see. Alright, <laughs> three Sycamores. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we'll Ultra Ball, get rid of Karen and Sycamore. And yeah, we'll see if Bridget is in the deck. It is, okay. Cool. And yeah, hopefully this matchup goes well for us. So we'll Lele for Bridget. We do have Coco. Doubt will need sort of Widow, so I think Wimpod. No, nah, I don't I don't know if I want three Wimpods, though. I think I'll just go Coco, Wimpod, and maybe nothing. I mean, I guess Triple Wimpod won't hurt. I don't know. Kind of, I was thinking about putting Soda sort of Wado down, but I highly doubt he's playing any. I'm just going to not. Dead DC. Just in case. He might just fly and flip next turn. No rush. He might even put Verzian, and then we can't do like a combo knockout on this Venusaur with Ghost Pod. So we'll see you next ball. Don't like he's playing a competitive deck, but yeah, be, a look, be on the lookout for a Venusaur video very soon, guys. Definitely. I'm not going to spoil anything, but Venusaur could be on the channel soon. Looks like he is playing Leafeon. Okay, so he's playing a Leafeon Venusaur deck, which is interesting to see. There's a timer ball. He gets one heads. I don't know what he'll grab. Nothing. I mean, he could have a Mega Venusaur, I guess, but we'll see. Might honestly just Lele him. I don't know. I don't really want to waste his DCE. So he's going to get Venusaur. I guess Leafeon Mega Venusaur is okay. Okay. I guess we will just Sycamore. Whatever. We lose DC. We lose DC. So we'll Sycamore. There is Golisopod. Nice. I think I hold the hand. Uh, don't really want to lose anything right now. So first impression him. 120 damage. Put a nice chunk of damage on that. We'll see if he goes into Leafeon next turn. He could heal this and then remove that damage. Um, so we'll see what happens. There is DC. He might do Poison Powder. And then I think I'm going to Ultra Ball Lele for an Ace Rolla. Mm. Alright. Just a Poison Powder for 70. And let's see what we end up drawing. Ultra Ball is pretty good, so we'll Ultra Ball. Probably just get rid of Ultra Ball and Guzma. 
Um, and we will grab that Lele. We do have other Ace Rollers, right? Just making sure we do. And this is why I like playing multiple copies of Lele, like playing three, not two, like you should mostly, because look at how good this is. So we'll just Ace Roll of this Golisopod, if it lets us. And um, we'll bring out Coco. I, I've made the mistake where I've Ace Rolled and brought out Wimpod like an idiot, and trust me, it is very, very painful to do. Uh, probably didn't need to put that down, to be honest with you, but whatever. So we'll do this, we'll do this, and we shall knock him out. And there goes Venusaur, and hopefully next turn we can just win by getting Burbank Laser DC Choice Band. And there's a start. So we'll see what my opponent's able to do. He could do Grand Bloom if he has like a Bridget in his hand or something. There's a Nest Ball. He's going to put a Chest Band. Okay, this is definitely not a competitive deck, obviously. Again, this is... I'll probably go into, depending on what this last game is against, I'll probably go into the versus ladder for a bit. We might be able to pull this off. So, Ultra Ball, we might lose a Grass, which is fine. We'll grab DCE. Probably do, I'll probably just Armor Press him, though. We'll do Sycamore. Yeah, it's fine. We still haven't played a VSC yet, so who cares? Hey! We actually got the Knockout. We had a lot more, too. We had Enhanced Hammer, just in case we didn't get the Knockout. The Wombo Combo, guys. The Wombo Combo. And this is, guys, this is basically why I like this Expanded Glow Spot deck. Like, you'll see, look at these perfect numbers. And this is, this is why it's my favorite deck. Because stuff like that can happen. And uh, we'll take our two prizes. At this point, don't know what I need. Probably more energy would be nice, I guess. Um, but we should be able to win the game unless he doesn't... I don't know. Should be good. So he's going to put another chest spin. So he's going to survive the turn. He's going to put Quilladin down. I feel bad, man. You know, he's not playing a competitive deck. I do feel bad. Probably not going to win either, honestly. I feel bad, but this is the state of turns. But we kind of just showed off the Wombo combo there, which I'm happy about. We showed off the Glowspot combo very nicely. We'll just first impression him, just in case. Or no, armor press him, just in case. We should be able to win the game unless my opponent rare candies into like a whatever the... What's the thick chestnut? Yeah, he goes into chestnut 160 HP, and then we can knock it out. Actually, I don't know if he did, probably be damaging me. I don't know, whatever. We should be able to win. Yeah, he concedes. I felt bad. I do feel bad. I do feel bad, but uh, we are making it to the finals, and I'm probably going to do some versus ladder games after this. So see you guys in a moment for the second part of the tourney, or the last part of the tourney, and then we'll probably do some versus games after that. Just to, you know, make this video more entertaining than, you know, it needs to be. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. The finals. We made it, boys. And we're playing it tonight, March, because of course we are. But, again, hopefully this goes well. I hate playing it tonight, March, but we do have Toad and Karen in the deck for a reason. Well, we'll find out how this goes. Maybe he's not playing Night March, but unfortunately he probably is. Because it is such a noob-friendly deck. It's very easy to win tourneys with that deck. Maybe, um... We'll see. We'll see. I think if I lose, I'll still probably just do some versus games, to be honest. I mean, at the end of the day, we're getting some decent packs, I guess. So, hopefully I get Plasma Freeze. Ugh. Not a very good starting hand. We do have Laser, so, I mean, just saying. If we, uh... If he starts with Joltik, I could just win the game. So, we'll see if that ends up happening here. Oh, yes. He's not playing... I just brew... Oh, the biggest sigh of relief ever. Because I didn't see... He's not playing Night March. Thank gosh. Um... Hmm. Dang it, I don't know what to get rid of. Alright, we'll have to get rid of Ghost Pod then. I don't want to do that, but... Just whatever. I'll probably just get a single Wind Pod. We'll keep the DC. We can always fly and flip him for weakness and maybe put some, you know, good, good numbers on him. Alright, that's not bad. Um, probably just pass. And then, I'm praying he just attacks Lele. And then we can just ace roll and just smack him with Gliss Pod. That'd be great. Could be up against Mega Ray, which I think we are. Mega Ray's fine. We do play your boy Soda Wudo, so we'll have probably just Ultra Ball for that here. So there's a computer search. I can't tell if he's playing like a competitive deck or not, though. Okay, he definitely is, cause and I don't know. Cause I know like computer search, anyone probably has it now because of the ladder. So I don't know. But let's see what kind of a deck this is. He probably grabbed Hoopa here, assuming he's playing Mega Ray. 
All right, you got a puzzle of time. Okay, very interesting. I think he is. Is he playing Mega Raven? I guess he is. That's definitely double puzzle. All right. He's going to end me, which kind of sucks. I did like this hand quite a bit. Or maybe he won't end me. I don't know. Ooh, two VS Seekers, two puzzles already in the toilet. That is pretty strong, guys. All right, that's a good sign right there when you see those get discarded. Great Quays of Spirit Link. So he is playing Mega Ray, which is fine. Lele might actually go down this turn, which is interesting. But again, Soda Widow is in the deck, so, so we can just drop Soda Widow and... Uh, he's not going to take one shot on me, and that is very good. So... That's the uh, kind of idea here, is to smack him with Soda Widow. Mega Ray and Expand is interesting. I, uh, one of my subscribers, I forget who, but they did kind of mention to me that maybe you could look at a Mega Ray deck and Expand it. I might do it, you know, Soda Widow is still popular, but I might take a look at Mega Ray and Expand it very soon, who knows. Um, but we'll see. So he's going to play Flow. Does he actually get the knockout this turn? He's going to need that Mega Turbo. He didn't get any energies and discard off that computer search. He's down some pretty important resources like the VS Seekers, the Computer Search, and the two puzzles. So he's going to be able to play a lot of stuff here, but again, we'll drop Soda Widow, and that is all going to go away. And those Shamans are very good targets also. In fact, we can just knock out Shaman this turn, which I think is the best thing to do. So VS Seeker, he's going to end me. Oh, why do you got to end me? Why do you got to end me? No, rip. There goes that hand. That was a really good hand too. Shoot. Alright, hopefully this new hand is better. I mean, the Super Rod is good, because we did lose at Glissopod. Probably Ace Roll it, too. That's good, so it's fine. As long as I can get Soda Wudo down next turn, we're okay. We can also Verbank him, too, and maybe slow him down that way. But I think the main goal is to get Soda Wudo into play. There's Ultra Ball. Still no energies to discard. He does play Hex Maniac, which is unfortunate because that does let him stop Soda Widow. But then he loses stuff like Dragonite and Shaman and Hoopa, so it's a double-edged sword. Okay, he fills up his entire bench. Does he get the knockout? No energies in the discard pile, so I'm assuming Lele lives. Okay, Treasure for Sycamore. We can even E-Hammer him, too, so this is just a really good hand, actually. So maybe this was a better hand than the last hand. Though that last hand was nice, too. But this one might actually be better, in all honesty. And a pass. Alright, what do we draw? Toad. Alright, something we can probably just use as can fodder. Um, we'll do Sycamore for sure. We'll enhance Hammer, that DCE off. You gotta say goodbye to that. I'm gonna drop Lele. Again, we can always, you know, bump these guys very soon. I'm probably just gonna take out Karen because we're not gonna need that in this matchup. Um, Laser wouldn't be bad, I guess, either. I don't know. We'll put Toad down. We'll just fill up the bench. Not a big deal. I could have done Chorus too, actually. Shoot, maybe I should. Why did I not do Chorus? Rip. All right, whatever. We'll probably hit Verbank, right? Verbank would be nice. I don't know if we'll attack him this turn. Yeah, we're not going to attack him. Okay, we are going to get an attack off. Oh, no, we do. What am I saying? We do have an attack, right? The only problem is... Ooh, heads. Okay. We don't have a Soda Widow, but we do have the attack, and I am going to risk it here and pray that we don't get knocked out. He, we could see a Mega Turbo DC knockout, and let's pray that doesn't happen. Tails. All right, nice. So looks like Glissbot is living the turn unless he plays Big Masalda or Center Lady. But we just we need to get that Soda Widow down ASAP. Once Soda Widow hits the board, we'll be very good. I should have done Chorus though, guys, instead of doing getting rid of Karen. I, that made no sense. Why did I not do Chorus? Whatever, guys. Apparently, I'm not playing smart, but it's fine. We should be good. At least we you know got lucky and he didn't wake up right. So. At the end of the day, I don't think he plays any healing cards, so I could even just Guzma this Rayquaza if we can draw like a Soda Widow. So there's an Ultra Ball, getting rid of some good <laughs> resources. He's played so many resources too, like a lot of VSC gears, two puzzles, a lot of stuff, so we'll see. So he's going to grab Puzzle, and did, he probably has the other Puzzle in his hand, unless it's prized, or he didn't hit it. Nope, just passed, enough good. And he wakes up. Alright, we need to find Soda Widow this turn, I think. There it is. Okay, cool. No, it's prized! What? Dude, the one time I didn't use Soda Widow be prized! Oh, gosh. Soda Widow is prized, guys. Uh-oh. Okay, that's pretty bad. 
I swear I saw it. I saw it in the deck though. Why is it prize? Rip. Um, I might just hex maniac him, but I don't know how much it matters. He's already put down all his shamans. I think I'm just gonna do sycamore. And pray we hit e another E hammer and slow him down a little bit more. A nice. Burbank's good too. I could even do crossing cut. Mm, that's kind of a waste because we could still do the combo on crossing cut. But I feel like Verbank's not going to be needed because he's got puzzles. So I don't know if it's going to stay in play all that long. So I think it's better maybe just to... Cr just... Armor press actually me? I don't know. I don't know. We'll get rid of Toad. We'll definitely do the enhanced hammer. Oh no! I hate my Why did I do that? No, what the freak? Stupid mouse, dude. It's stuck on the back of my... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Dang it, dude. My mouse got stuck on the back of my... On the... On the, my desk and it didn't... Oh my god. And it... Yeah, and I missed... Oh my gosh, that is so bad. Ugh. All right, well, we kind of just got to roll with it. Oh, my gosh. At least we got rid of that DC. He's got, you know, I can fly and flip him, too, but rip me, bro. Oh, my mouse. I need, I need to clean my desk off, apparently. Dang it, dude. My mouse got stuck. It's not looking good. I'm probably going to get... Probably gonna get knocked out. We'll see, actually. I mean, get rid, get rid of the sky field, you know, E hammer him. We'll see, though. Dang it, though. Why, what, like, why do I do this to myself? He's actually gonna go into the other Rayquaza. So I, I'm assuming he has an attack here. We don't even have an Ace Rolla. That's just even worse. Even with Double Puzzle, he's still gonna need a lot to take out Ghostopod. It's not the end of the world. We still have another Ghostopod to go, but yikes, dude. That misplay. That misplay. This mouse, man. This mouse got stuck on my desk, and it caused me to put the DC on my Wimpod, which kind of sucks. I mean, he's got, you know, again, he's got 10 HP, so if we ever want to do, like, a flying flip play, we can even maybe flying flip, choice band, laser, a shaman, and win the game. So, who knows? Maybe that, you know, maybe that misplay, you know, won't be so bad if we ever pull that off. That would be kind of cool, actually, to win that way, but... We'll see if that ends up happening. How many lasers and choice bands do we have left? Okay, we got one laser. We still have all our choice bands, so maybe we could do that. Who knows? But again, I don't know how my opponent can really. He's gonna need like a sky field. He's gonna need a ton of Pokemon knock me out here. I mean, even if he does, we we can still knock him out, so it's all good. But dang man, that misplay. That misplay though. It's fine. I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna ignore it. You know, this, you know, we can always, you know, attack with this guy or the other, this glow spot now, I guess. That's fine. Well, let's see. Will my glow spot go down? Hopefully, we can find Ace Rolla. We have one left and we still have two VS Seekers. So, we'll see if we hit it. There's a computer search. Does my opponent get what he needs to get out of this? If he has, like, a Dragonite in his hand, that would be big. If he has a Dragonite, that would be very bad and big for him. Dragon Knight definitely would give him the knockout. Well, no, he still needs Mega Turbo. So he's just going to evolve. There's a Sycamore, okay. So I guess he doesn't have Dragon Knight. Two Mega Turbos, okay. There's a Skyfield, so Rip Verbank, but that's fine. We Instead of Widow being prized, too, kind of sucks. Eesh, there's the Mega Turbo. Uh-oh, that is not good. Uh-oh, Rick, go spot lip, please. We need to find that other Verbank. Can M to four, maybe slow him down a little bit, depending if he knocks me out. Hoopa, okay. I don't even know if he has anything left to grab. Nope. Yeah, he's short on the knockout. All right. I need an Ace Roller now. That would be amazing. Yes, nice. We got it. Oh, it's prized. Dang it. All right. Well. Got two DCEs. 
might honestly just Guzma and knock out Shaman. I kind of want to do Chorus though, but I don't really know what I need at this point. Do we have that Flowstone in the deck? Uh, we don't. Float and Wood are both a prize, so I think I will just Guzma him. We'll just knock out Shaman. Again, we don't really need to knock out that Rayquaza right away because, you know, that can easily be taken care of by Soto Widow. Or no, Co Coco. Soto Widow can't attack, I'm saying. Alright, so first impression, take out Shaman. Soto Widow off the prizes would be ginormous. Okay, Verbang Ace Rolla works too. Okay, that's actually perfect because we can still heal. Plus we have Ace Rolla, we can Verbank him, so that's fine by me. But we'll see. He's gonna need Dragonite. Like, if he has Dragonite, you know, you knock me out. But we'll see. And could be big too, I guess. Because I might not be able to get anything good off that. I don't know. Does he play Dragonite? We'll see. He concedes the game. He accepts his fate. Alright, well, there you go. We win. And we get our daily challenge done. And we get a bunch of packs. I'll do one game in the Versus Ladder with this deck, guys. Um, yes, we got Plasma Freeze. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. 400 coins is always nice. Beautiful. Actually, I'm going to quickly screenshot this for a thumbnail for a video. Alright, cool. So we're going to do a game in the versus ladder, and we're going to actually... Okay, maybe, maybe I'll just screenshot this. Hold on. It'll probably look better if I screenshot that. I know, guys, you're probably like, what are you doing? But I want to get a nice little thumbnail for this video. So we are going to find a game in the versus ladder with this deck, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Just because, again, those, like, the first two games weren't really that good. So, you guys probably want a better match, so we'll, we'll give you one. So, we'll, we'll get a nice game here. We'll see what it is. Looks like we're up against a Bronzong deck, most likely. So, we'll go for this Tails, I think. And we hit it, which is beautiful. But that was a nice tournament. We did get a Plasma Freeze pack, which I'm happy about. Uh, so, that's good. We open with Lele, which is not good. But thanks to Computer Search, Heavy Ball, we don't got to worry too much. So that's nice. And uh, we will see what kind of a deck we are up against. I'm assuming it's Bronzong. It's gotta be Bronzong, because Metal and Psychic. We'll see if he's playing Dustmane. That could be big, because he one-shots me, and that shuts down those Ace Rollers. Uh, he's playing Sogaleo Metagross. Interesting. Alright, so we'll get rid of... Probably just Choice Band, and... I mean, we have Laser for a bank. Like, I feel fine. We'll Lele for Bridget. Oh, wait, why? No, why? I meant to grab Bridget itself. <sighs> oh my gosh. Computer Surge Lele for Bridget. Amazing play. 10 out of 10. Would play again. Guys, please don't hate for that dumbness play, guys. Don't. Just. What am I doing? I'm actually going to go Soda Widow here. This will limit the amount of uh, Metagrosses you can put in play. Dang it, though. I mean, it's not the biggest misplay in the world, obviously, but that might come back if we ever need a Lele for Guzma, right? So, we'll see. I do want to knock out this Cosmog. Sogaleo is kind of scary because it one-shots Ghostopod. Bridget, but you know what? You gotta remember. You can't. And he's not grabbing a Vulpix, so he's gonna be stuck here in the active. But again, we'll see what he does. Looks like he's gonna attach and Dust Gathering for one. Okay. Interesting choice, too. He's playing the Psychic. Um, ooh, Chorus. We can Chorus for 8, and I think I'm going to do that instead. So we'll Heavy Ball for the Glissopod, and we will be able to take out this Cosmog, get out, get that out of the way, so we don't have to worry about a, a Solaleo right now. I'm not really in any threat either, so it's not a big deal. Let's see what we're getting. Okay, not... Eh. I think we'll, we'll get rid of Grass Energy, and... Ace Rolla, we're not going to get attacked anytime soon, I don't think. I'm going to grab a second Wimpod. I'm going to keep Guzma, we might need it for next turn. I'm going to try and take out those Cosmogs while I still can. We'll retreat, we'll do Super Rod, get back those Grass Energies, and we'll first impression. We'll just try and get get those Cosmogs off the board. Hopefully he doesn't have Rare Candy Silvaleo, though. Hopefully... He doesn't have that rare candy so Leo just chilling and waiting to be used. So he's gonna bring out that Beldum. So you know, he, well, if he had it, he, he could still do Ultra Road. We'll see what his hand is. We'll see what his hand's gonna be. 
Metal on Beldum. Lele going down, okay. I'm assuming this is expanded so he can grab a Colrus here actually and draw a little bit more cards than he needs to, which could be interesting. He has Geotech system, which we also got, not Geotech, what's that? No, oh, teammate trip. He has Algorithm and I actually have no ends in my hand and no way to get it. So this is actually kind of bad. Though, I still want to get that Cosmog off the board. But Metagross doesn't one-shot me, and I can win by spamming Ace Roll Loop. So I'm not too worried about Metagross. I'm more worried about... I'm more worried about, you know, Solgaleo. So we're going to just Guzma that Cosmog and knock it out. So, he teammates for the Rare Candy Metagross. He could have done Soul Burst, but he's going to Rare Candy Metagross. Oh, no, he's going for Soul. Okay, interesting. Okay, he's going to calculate. All right. I think I'm actually going to just swing him then. Just try and two-shot him here. Just, I think that's a decent play. So he's going to be able to rearrange his top cards. So he might draw what he needs. Don't know. And uh, we'll Guzma. No point in doing laser because he has Ultra Road. And we don't need to waste it right now. So we'll just first impression him. Put some damage on him. Force him to have to max potion to... You know, prevent that from meaning much. But we have another Guzma ready to go also, so that'll probably be the plan. There's Max Potion number one. But once we get the Sogaleo off the board, you know, we should be okay. Field Blower, rip. And, okay, that's also a rip because he's probably going to retreat Sogaleo now. Alright, we still got Guzma though, so that's good. Burbank is nice. So, looks like he's going for that Soul Burst. That is scary because he max potioned. That is very scary because he did do max potion. And I don't know what to think. I think Hex Maniac is going to be our best friend in this matchup too. I think we gotta do Sycamore and just try and get DC, cross and cut him. Nice. Oh, actually, I could do Armor Press. Because then I take 20. No, still does enough damage to knock me out. So I have to do cross and cut here. Maybe go into Soto Wudo. So he has, I'm assuming he's going to retreat. Okay, we'll go into Soto Widow. He might retreat. Unless he max potions, but I will do that. He'll retreat. And then will Guzma knock out Sogaleo? That's the strategy. We'll see if this pays off. I don't know. I didn't want to sacrifice Coco, though, because we already used her Super Rod. May need Coco for the Ace Roll of Spam. So we'll just do this for now. The only one choice ban is a bit of an issue, because we're not actually going to be two-shotting him with Galissapod's first impression without the choice ban. No, Max Potion! Okay, it gets rid of all the energy, and that does shut down that place, so maybe I just goose my Matang then, unless he gets a Metagross down. This is actually a scarier and harder matchup than I thought. Holy cow. I don't- he can't play any more than two Max Potions, so how- he, there's not- he can't have that much room in the deck. There can't be that much room. Dang it, though, I really thought he was going to retreat and just- do something, but dang it, that's pretty bad. Mount Coronet, okay, rip the Verbank. Alright, so he is doing Ultra Road, so we'll definitely bring that out. And we'll smack him. Though, will we get knocked out? I mean, middle is four. Shoot, four in the discard, yikes. Close Pod will most likely go down, but... We'll have another one ready to go, but the other one's prized, and we look, used Super Rod already, so it could be a bit of an issue. I'm not going to lie. This is actually a lot harder than I thought it would ever be. I didn't expect this matchup to be this this bad. Jeez. I could laser him, force him not to have to do that Ultra Road. No, Tails, why? We're going to get knocked out right 2.30. Yeah, so first impressions, it is more damage. He's going to do just enough damage to take out Glissbot, so we can't afford to do armor press, unfortunately. 
double metagross. If he max potions here, we are in trouble. If he, you can't play three max potions. You got via seekers and everything. There's no way you have room for that many item cards. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way you gotta have room for that many more max potions. Please do not have any more max potions left in your deck. I pray. I pray that there's none left. I might even Karen. Yes, yeah, we can Karen. I might even Karen next turn. To be honest with you. Okay, he's gonna be a seeker. Could Lysander, he's gonna do Sigma, okay. Please don't, you can't play three max potions, you have to play so many items in this deck, because you're playing expanded with Via Seekers, and all kinds of other expanded items and stuff. Please do not have three max potions, there's no way you can play three. There's no way you have three in your deck. Ooh, I could even end him here, maybe I might do that instead. I think I will end him, actually. Okay, Geotech system, no max potions, so this Sogaleo is going to go down, thank you, unless he's playing Center Lady or Big, I don't know, I keep saying that, but we'll definitely end him here, I think, he's played quite a bit of stuff, plus he could be a secret for teammates. He could wrap up the game by knocking out Lele too with Choice Band, Metagross, but again, there's so many cards he has to play in his deck, I'm sorry to use the Choice Band, we'll see. We do finally get rid of this big Sogaleo, which is good. We are going to lose a Glissopod, and that's not good, but this thing is going to go down, which is good. There's a laser, so we are going to end him to three. I would have liked to save you a secret for Ace Rolla, because we've used two of them, but it's fine. I am going to attach to Lele, just in case. We can always attack with Lele, right? It can still do decent damage. Toad. Ultra Ball is good. I think I'm going to do Ultra Ball. I'm going to get rid of... Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of Sycamore and Toad. I need to get oh Wimpod Surprise, dude. Oh, I got two Wimpod Surprise. Alright, we're taking two prizes, so hopefully we can get a Wimpod off the prizes here. That'd be great. Wimpod being prize though is not good. That's gonna hurt us. We aren't gonna deal with Ace Rolla. Not looking good. We did get that Sobley off the board, but he might have another rare candy or teammates, so that's not good. We well, might only be playing two too. We'll see. This is kind of bad. This is actually not as easy as I thought it would be. This is not as easy as I thought it would be, guys, at all. It's actually kind of tough. Dang it, I didn't realize that many Wimpods were prized, because I was going to put one down, and now I actually just lost Sycamore, meaning we don't have any draw supporter to go off of, which is not good. So he's going to Ultra Ball for Lele. Okay, I doubt he plays two teammates. That's good. We'll see what he's grabbing here. He may grab Guzma? I don't know. What is he gonna grab Sycamore? He's only played what two so far? No one rip. Holla. Okay, I mean that works too. Ghost Pod should be safe this turn. Unless this Holla gives them rare candy Metagross though, which I or rare candy Sokoleo, you know, we're screwed. I don't think he's got any more Sokoleos left though. Okay, Mount Coronet's fine. We could maybe try an enemy again. I don't know, it's probably not worth it though. I think we're just going to attack with Lele and hope he doesn't have Choice Band. He's got to only play one Choice Band, I don't know. There's so many cards he has to play in the expanded format that I... Dude, he had the Stretcher. What? Why do you play two Stretchers? How much... Dude, how much space do you have in your deck? What in the world? How much space do you have? There's like 20 million items you have to play. Okay, he didn't get the Metagross or the Sogaleo, which is beautiful. But what isn't beautiful is that Sogaleo is going to go down. Hmm. I could knock out Cosmog. I did not expect this to be this hard, man. What in the world? I did not expect this matchup to be this challenging. Jesus. If, that, if those Wimpods weren't prized, it'd be so good right now because I could definitely... I could have just ace roll it and got him there. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna lose glow spot if I do this. How many grass energies are left? Still have a few, but I don't know if I'm gonna get supporter though. We could wrap up the game by finishing off Lele and let if he doesn't have another stadium. So I'm actually gonna take out this Cosmog. Kinda risky. Not gonna lie, but we'll see how this goes. If this prize is a good card, we'll be golden. Okay, Burbank, we could come in handy, I guess, if we get heads by us a turn. I don't know. I don't know what the best play was there, guys. Not much we could do because only one via Seeker. And I didn't expect Bold Wimpot to be prized. What? He has another Cosmos? I give up. And another Mount Cornet. Oh, this win is not going to be easy. Yo, I don't know how much room this guy has in his deck considering there's like 20 million cards. But uh, we are not in a good spot. We actually lose the game next turn. Unless I go into Lele and pray he doesn't have choice ban, but uh, we are not in a good spot, guys. Can we sh Please, can I draw a more? DCE, it's not really helping. We're going to do laser and see if we get heads. Don't even know why I try. If I had Hexmaniac, that'd be great. Hex Maniac, anything really, like any supporter there, I think would have been really good. Hmm. I think we just, I don't, even if I go into Bliss Pod, I don't think it matters. I think I'm just going to go all in with Lele and pray to the Pokey Gosh, Pokey Gods, that he does not have a choice ban to finish me off he's played one and again with so many cards in the expanded he's got a at this point i wouldn't be surprised if he pulls something random out of his deck but again we'll pray that he doesn't have the game he has game rare candy sogaleo ah i just couldn't do anything i want it i'm not gonna concede i'm not gonna be good i'm not gonna be a dick so he's gonna field blower me put me out of my misery do not slow roll me please or i will concede if he doesn't go for the knockout i'm just gonna concede but Jeez, what? I We kind of got unlucky there. The prizes, I think, were bad. If we didn't have a Wimpod prize, we definitely could have been in a better spot right now, I feel like. But, yeah, it's not good. We, we kind of came close to winning. The fact that another Cosmog is hand also, you know, just, we used so many resources early on. Unfortunately, we weren't able to come out on top. But, you know what? We did show off the deck still in the tournament, and we did show off the deck fairly nice. So we put up, a best, we could have the, we put up the best fight we could have. You know, my game, my game plan was to take out those Sogaleos, prevent him from getting, you know, the one-shots that way, and then force the Ace Rolla game, run him out of Max Potion, spam Ace Rolla. Unfortunately, that did not happen because I had some pretty unlucky prizes, and also we kind of just didn't draw very well at the end there. But that will wrap today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't get to, to subscribe to Home the Road to 3K subs. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and peace out.